You missed some important news from the LGBTQ plus community this week. To ensure you are current, we are recapping that important news. Here's what you may have missed. Republicans will try to ban rainbow flag in Florida. LGBTQ plus advocates are in becoming increasingly alarmed as municipalities and school districts across the country take measures prohibiting displays of the rainbow pride flag on public property and in classrooms. Some say the move reflects a broader wave of GOP endorsed reform and policy efforts that include book bans, changes to school curricula, attacks on the use of preferred pronouns, and restriction of reproductive rights. Such restrictions have been approved in Delaware, Ohio, Cold Springs, New York, and school districts from Davis County, Utah, to Wales, Wisconsin. In Florida, Republican State Representative David Barrero introduced a bill that would limit flag displays at all governmental and public school buildings statewide. The municipal measures that prohibit rainbow flags aren't explicitly expressed as such. Presented as a means to avoid favoring any one group over another, they limit flag displays to government and military flags, but the effect is the same. In response to these attacks, the Gilbert Baker Foundation has launched a Save the Rainbow Flag campaign with instructions for local community advocates on mobilization and letter writing activism, plus an open letter from the ACLU with legal arguments against flag restrictions. Well, another thing that they try to erase us, I mean, erase us from schools, erase us from public life. I mean, getting rid of the pride flag is basically just saying that, you know, go back to the closet now. I don't want to see you. But people can still fly the stupid ass Confederate flag whenever they want. Yeah. Though, and I, right? and <laughs> I do want to know, like, OK, so the so if these rules come into effect, I mean, when is the next time, you know, someone, uh, some council member trot in with a Christian nationalist flag, for example, or, you know, a Confederate flag? I mean, the thing is, you have the, a law is only so it's only so good as the people who enforce it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and you want to put money on it that they're never going to enforce a ban on the, those Christian nationalist flags, but definitely going to issue fines against rainbow flags. Hmm. I I I want to echo in in terms of uh, what is going on here is a mathematical equation in my head. As you're doing the story, I'm going okay. And okay, and here's the mathematical equation. First, um, the news has reported that the LGBT community has doubled in 10 years. Mm -hmm. And that sets off alarms in the DeSantis household and the Abbott household and the, and the Ted Cruz household. That's a fact. So let's assign a value in our mathematical equation of one. They're multiplying like zombies. We must get rid of them. We must. And <laughs> how are we going to do that exactly right, right? Right. Let's add an equation of banning seeing the flag. So we'll pretend that they don't exist. No representation. One. We'll add don't say gay so we can't talk about it in schools. So there can't be any virus spread of LGBT expanding. Two. We are going to say drag queens are groomers so we can culture and raise money and political power, right. three. And then we're going to ban books of identity and discussion of their existence in our school uh, libraries, mm -hmm. four. What does all that equate to? That mathematical equation that started from its original cosine of population of LGBT doubling, it equals on the equation end Erasure. Erasure. That's exactly Erasure. what is trying to go on. So as a result, if we understand that, we do everything we can to fight against. First, you're trying to erase us. Please, let's not codify. Let's not call this. If it's a, if it's a horse, it's a horse. It's erasure, and that's exactly what's going on. And then the final question in our mathematical equation is, why are they doing this? To save society, to save our communities? Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. to win elections mm -hmm. and have power and to have money. Mm -hmm. That's what this story is all about. And one of the ways to do it is simply say, nobody can fly any flags mm -hmm. on public property, but who we're after is the queer community because we want to erase them.
I yep. think your equation is perfectly right. And I've been saying for a very long time that the Republican Party is being strategic. And I think the Democrats need to wake up. Mm -hmm. And not only when I think about that, I think about them banning the um, AP African-American history. Mm -hmm. And then the reason that they say they want to queer ban studies. the AP African-American <laughs> history is because of the queer, queer studies. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. find so something it, queer about African-American right. AP programs. Yeah. And so it let some of the black, the black community also have problems with the LGBTQ community but it's because of the queer studies. Yeah, it's, there it is. It's completely ridiculous and it's being very strategic. Keep watching the only television news in the world from our LGBTQ plus community and stay informed on everything that is important for and about our diverse LGBTQ plus community.